gentlemen, do that, dudes. Today we're going to have a very real chat. I may have to punch some of y'all in the stomach, but it's for your own good. Uh, yesterday we had Kather on here, and he came with it. He brought tips I've never seen on any of the Shopify video. He was he was bringing it, and if y'all want me to continue to bring guests on this channel, y'all gonna have to show some love because what's happening is I'll bring someone who's bringing good stuff, but because it's difficult, a lot of y'all tune out. Now, some of you were there. I saw a lot of people watched it. A lot of people liked it. We need more of that because I, I am almost at a point where I'm going to shut this channel down and just work on disruptive mail because I've been too good to y'all. You know, we're talking about one topic. Yeah, hey, I know it's off topic. I answered question, been helpful. And a lot of you motherfuckers are not reciprocating. The free fucking information on this channel will make you money. But because it's hard, it's not what you want to do. You're like, I don't want to do that. Then pester me and send me all these long ass love letters like I got all fucking day to talk to your ass. Because you don't want to spend any money and you want to ask me a bunch of questions. What triggered this was I got a question on what conferences did I go to that have impact? For the most time, most time, I didn't go to conferences from 2009 up to uh, 13. I didn't go to conferences. Didn't need to. And I don't really vid some and I go to that. And I got a few private masterminds. They're like five to twenty-five thousand dollars, which you none, which most of you can't even apply or get in. And I decided to do this because I need to be real with you guys. You're not gonna make any fucking money trying to copy someone else because the way these platforms work, like what I do on this channel. What I do on this channel is killing this channel. So if you follow my template of doing what I'm doing, your channel is going to fail. And I'm going to explain to you why. 2009, 2013, YouTube didn't care if you sent traffic off the platform. A lot of people built major, major email lists. 2013, they started saying, oh, no, 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 we, we don't like that. We don't like that at all. So what I have to do is use paid traffic to keep my channel on life support and make money because I am not doing what YouTube wants me to do. But many of you are trying to copy me. You're trying to figure out what I'm doing because you think I'm holding back information. And then when you do this shit and you get these bad results, they're like Glendon full of shit. No, you're full of shit because your ass is too lazy to do your own fucking work. That's the problem. Everybody wants to copy someone. Everybody wants to hack something. The real problem is most of you are fucking lazy. And that's it. Because if you got time to watch Xbox, you got time to watch a lot of Netflix, you got time to play around, you got time to do this shit, you, 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 you wasting time. A recession's coming and some of you are still dicking off because you want it to be easy. Now, let me tell you where my real success began. I want you to duplicate this, if you can. From first grade to the 12th grade, I read 4,000 books. That's where my success began. I read those 4,000 books. And the reason I know is I used to count them. And I stopped counting after 12th grade. So I don't even know. I may have read 5,000 books by now. Duplicate that. Copy that. Thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of hours of reading. Copy that. Because one of the reasons that I can be so good at what I do and help you is because of all that data that I stuffed in my brain. I see trends that other people don't see because I read about it. And as I matured and went on this walk of life, it started to reveal itself for me. How many people here were going like Bitcoin, 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 Nick, and all this other bullshit. And I was like, don't do it. Don't do it. It doesn't make, it doesn't match up to fundamentals. How many people? 
Most of us who talk shit about Bitcoin, people hated us, made fun of us. You don't know how to read charts, Glendon. You don't know what you're talking about. Motherfucker, Bitcoin's only like eight, nine years old. There ain't no, there ain't a lot of history there. And for the most of the time, it didn't really appreciate drastically. It appreciated drastically for like six months. Now it's depreciating. But no, I don't know how to read charts. It just doesn't match up um, with my ideal of things that make wealth. Shopify, that's one of the reasons I had Keter on here. Keter came in here with some total, like he came in here with totally different information. And a lot of people didn't watch because it's like, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do affiliate marketing. And Keter, uh, Jonathan Pimbley, I got a podcast for him. Uh, Dead beat super affiliate. All of them said, if you're a beginner with no money, affiliate marketing is the best thing for you to do. And I was like, okay. Because one thing I think y'all take for granted, I didn't start off from scratch like y'all are. I came to YouTube and internet marketing with a decade plus of sales experience, marketing experience. Duplicate that. Go out and start a business, work 70, 80 hours a week, work seven days a week for years. Copy that. Go ahead. 4,000 books, the, the, the long hours, the many years of hard work. Copy that shit. Copy it. That's what contributed to my success. All those thousands of sales, thousands of hours of meeting with people, seeing patterns, seeing trends. That's the reason I can do what I can do. Copy that. Copy the 10 years plus of sales experience and training and stuff because uh, copy the reading of all these esoteric books. I read books about butterflies. I read books about art. I read books about cats. I read books about foreign languages. I was just this insatiable thirst of to get knowledge. Copy that shit. Because some of you are low key asking me, well, what conferences do you go to? Because you would rather go to that conference than to pay me for the information because you don't think I'm shit. And I've, oh, you know, no, no, it's true. Now, some of you love me, appreciate you. Some of you support me, appreciate you. Like the super chat thing. I've given people in streams, actionable steps to make money, and they like not even leave a dollar. And I was cool with it because I was making money. But now... I see a problem. Y'all become addicted to the free actionable advice, but since it doesn't cost you anything, you don't execute. All the videos that I talked about, all the videos that I put up here were about execution. I showed you how my Instagram was whack and now it's starting to boom. I showed you step by step. It's like I started here, started here, showed you a site. To I don't want to do that, Glendon. My name is Pretty Paul. I'm too pretty for that shit. I want something very cheap, about 25, 30 bucks, but that's guaranteed to make me two to three thousand dollars a month. You are fucking out of your mind and you are delusional. You know, if you had a guaranteed product that can make someone fifteen hundred to two thousand dollars, absolutely one hundred percent guaranteed, fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars a month, that product would be worth twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> That's what that product would sell for. It wouldn't sell for $25. But this shows the lack of unseasoned, the, no seasoning. Because a lot of y'all don't have no businesses. And because a lot of you are fucking afraid to go out and fail. Just don't want to do it. Just don't want to do it. So I'm going to start speaking to you a little differently. I'm going to come at you with... A whole different presentation because if I have to shame you, clown you, talk shit about you to get you to do work, fine. I will be your fucking drill sergeant, your asshole father. I'll be all that. Because if you notice, the crankiness is back. This is how I started this channel. 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13. This was me. And I got results. I got people get off their fucking ass and do some stuff. So the crankiness is back. You leave some weak ass comment up here trying to, you know, talk shit. I'm going to make you look like the monkey that you are. So for everyone that's still here, we can begin the show. 
you shouldn't copy people because with these platforms, especially YouTube, YouTube, and I talked with Nick and we both agree that with uh, machine learning, each channel has its own algorithm, which means if you found someone's channel and copied their keywords, copied their videos, put up, you would get radically different results. You got to do your own work. There are no shortcuts with this. And you, you got this, this thing with some of y'all, some of you are executing, some of you are buying the courses and I can see you're actually going through the courses and you're doing stuff. That's what it's going to take. You ain't getting rich fast. My job is to get you comfortable enough so you can have the ability to have income coming in so you can get rich and benefit your family later because most of you are not going to get rich. Most of you are going to get a comfortable life and leave your kids some assets and money where they can get rich. I'm going to tell you the truth. I tell you about my failures. I tell you about the things that go wrong, like with Instagram. I am starting a new YouTube channel. It's six weeks old. I've already passed the 4,000 hour threshold and I am like 80 something subscribers away from a thousand subscribers. It's right there what I did, how I did it. Nah, Glenn, I, I ain't watching that. No, no, that's, I don't have time to watch that. Uh, I, I, no, man, I, you know, I watch one of your videos a day, but I, I'm not going to uh, see you build a channel where every day I can actually see what you do. See the progression you have done. Fuck that. No, 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 no. I need some that, uh, you know, it takes me an hour a day. Don't cost too much. No, no. Look, look, bro. You know, I got that child support and shit and I got these kids. So, I, I mean, you know, I love you to death, but maybe 2,500 bucks. I got you. But other than that, no, nah, I can't do it. But these new fucking Jordans that are like 450, got to have them. Where your attention is, is where your money is. Because every time someone comes on here to clown me, I go to their channel, they're watching fucking video games, they're watching World Star, World Star, some of the most banal, insipid shit ever. You know the world's the founder of World Star, you know he's dead. Because he was living that good life. He got so obese, he killed himself. Died a young man. He died a fucking young man. Because he was all about that world star. Living that high life. Popping bottles, making it rain and all the other stuff. He's dead. Because I don't watch World Star. I think World Star is one of the best, worst things to ever happen to black people. You know, I celebrate the brother's success as an entrepreneur, but I hate how he did it. So y'all got to wake the fuck up. This recession shit is real. Let me tell you what's going to happen with Bitcoin. They're going to keep propping up Bitcoin and propping up Bitcoin because there are people who make money off of it, right? But when this recession hits and they start laying off people, there's not going to be enough people to keep buying Bitcoin, which is nothing. You can't mortgage your house. I mean, it's nothing. So it's just going to slide on down to nothing. But you got people here who, who are like instant Bitcoin millionaires, Bixed, uh, it's just, they want to fight me on it. There's one little bitch on Facebook. When that shit crash, I'm going to make a video about him clowning his ass. Because he thinks he's so smart. He don't know shit about making money. He don't know shit about building wealth. You know how I know? He's too, he's too, he's on Facebook too much. He ain't making money. Facebook ain't cutting him a check. He's addicted to that shit like I was at one point. I realized my addiction. Hi, my name's Glendon Cameron. I'm addicted to Facebook. I need to take the apps off my phone. I need to take the apps off my iPad and only check in here and there. I know my shit was janky. So, my friends, my dudes, my dudettes, y'all need to get busy like you've never gotten busy before. Because when this shit hits, it's not going to, and the thing is, it's going to hit certain sectors. Like right now, the retail, the retail sector is being decimated. Toys R Us are closing. Sears, most, most Sears stores have closed. J.C. Penney's next. There'll be malls in wealthy neighborhoods because those are going to be the only neighborhoods that can support a mall.
this is going to be it. I got people on my new channel arguing with me. I am giving you advice that I use to woo, seduce, and fuck women with a level of accuracy that is mind-boggling because now that I'm watching uh, other people in the space, they got good game. They got good stuff. They ain't did shit I've done. When I put together that platform, it's going to blow minds because I got pictures today. I I put up some pictures of some receipts of some stuff that I said. This chick who was acting all funny, I called her a slut, and I said, "Look, you need to stop with this sometimey shit. When you ready, when you ready to get real, here's my number. Call me." And I stopped talking to her. She called today, and then she texted me to let me know she called. Another one. You can see it. You can go to this last video. I'm going to be showing all kinds of stuff because. Uh, I disagree with a lot of people that the game is the game. No, the game ain't the fucking game. You got savage nation out here. Women are not the same. Men are not the same. And anyone that's applying antiquated uh, traction techniques are going to lose. <laughs> and uh, shout out to Keelan, Kellen, K-E-L-L. -L. He actually got into it with me. He's like, bro, I don't know. He contacted a chick they was kicking it with two months ago. And he got to smash last night. He was like, oh, shit, I was wrong. Y'all don't get it. You can meet a woman today, make a good impression, and let six months go by, and then get at her, and she's going to feel like she's known you for six months. That's how women judge things. Women look at time. It's too soon. It's too soon. You can just lay back in the cut, get your rotation going on, be popping off like that. But because some of you are so fucking thirsty... Popping up on her Instagram, popping up on her feed, popping up in her chat box, popping up in her, her text like three, four, five, six times a day. And she's like, this motherfucker don't have shit going on. Oh, look, there's dust in my panties. I'm going to give you, and for years, I've given you guys practical and actual advice. And I'm going to continue to give you practical and applicable advice. But it's going to come in the cost because I'm going to be a complete dick about it. I'm going to be a complete asshole about it. And if you if we're talking about something, because the title here is making money in 2018, why you should not copy me or anyone else online important. I'm going to clown you because that means you're disrespecting the conversation. With your own selfish needs. We ain't having that up in here. I'm about to have so much fun. I, I understand why when I was in basic training, why these drill sergeants were laughing at us. I understand now. It's about to be fun up in here because I haven't been as funny as I could be in a long time. But that's coming back. It's coming back. And, you know, people's like, man, you know, you got a little bit of fire to you. Honestly, I changed my diet. That was it. I just changed my diet. So what you got to do in today's online environment is do your own work and research. What I give you are templates, but you still kind of come in with execution. All right, for some of you who are going to take action, I forgot to do this because I was so angry. Uh, the promo code is PORN. The links are below the video, and you can get 50% off during this live stream. Now, how many of you have actually put together a hustle that generates at least $1,000 a month? How many of you done that? Because one of the things you got to do, <clears throat> you got to make your, your hustle elegant. You can't just go out there and hustle and hustle and hustle. Your hustle has to have a direction. You have to turn your hustle into a business. Keeter talked about it yesterday. He's like, you know, you can sell all this low price stuff, but you're not building a brand. You're not building a customer. So you got to go constantly renew and sell and sell and sell. You got to pick something. Um, what I picked is I made a decision between business consultant and being a creative. I want to be a creative. I want to tell stories. I want to make movies. I want to take pictures. That's what I want to do. But I put myself in the position to do this last year. Working all those insane hours. Hello? Message, as some of y'all like to say. 
every time I want to do something fulfilling and personal, I know there's going to be a, some kind of cost and I'm willing to pay it. Are you willing to pay the cost for your dreams? The cost for your dreams may not be hanging out with your friends, hanging out with your friends. You can still go to weddings and birthday parties. Those don't happen every weekend. But most weekends, you need to be ass and elbows. You need to be fucking grinding. Because I hear you like, I'm grinding, Glendon. But oh yeah, I got to watch this. Oh, I got to play PlayStation. No, oh, I'm Netflixing and chilling with my girl. You ain't grinding, motherfucker. You ain't grinding at all. You playing around. Seriously. So the first step is, we're going to have to pick some categories. You're going to have to get into something that has a long-term future. Uh, someone had bought some of these, um, some, I don't know what the hell it was. He kept talking about he bought it and he couldn't sell it. And typically when you can buy inventory super cheap, there's a reason, because it ain't selling. <laughs> it's not selling, man. And I, I had to tell him that and he came in here like, for about six weeks straight, he's like, yeah, I still got him. I was like, yeah, I know why. Nobody wants that shit. So the first rule of thumb is you got to find an audience before you get your product. Let me say that again. You must find an audience before you make or format or buy your product because product is everywhere. I had a client and he was struggling. He was doing eBay and I was like, Mark, if you sold everything, if you put everything on sale, how long would it take you to get more inventory? He said, oh, I can get inventory just like that. I said, okay, do this. I know this is going to sound counterproductive. Put all of your inventory on sale, make it flow, and then take the money and reload with better product. Best month he ever had. He's like, damn, I made $50,000 this month. I got more money than I ever had before. Because see, when you have cash flow, you can stay in the game. But when you have these long periods where you're not selling anything, you still got costs, you still got fees, you still got rent, whatever. So you get cash flow, you can work it out. As long as you're making cash, you can work it out. But if you got these big intermittent, you know, a week or two before you sell some stuff, you're dead in the game. You are dead in the game. So for those of you who are brave enough Pick something. It doesn't have to be what you like for now. And go ahead and work your ass off on it because this is what's going to happen. If you truly dedicate yourself to whatever it is, and I'm talking about real dedication, none of that fake ass dedication. I'm talking about you working that shit seven days a week. You working it every spare. You're going to get results. They may not be the results that you want right away, but you're going to get results. Uh, my Craigslist technique. It took me three months. Well, there's the first Craigslist technique, which was to sell physical products. There was the second Craigslist uh, campaign set, call it. It was to sell me. I poured over that for three months. Writing ads, didn't work. Wrote another ad, didn't work. Rolling that didn't work for the first month. None of that shit worked. I was like, these people were saying you getting dates and shit off Craigslist are lying. This shit ain't working. And I was like, okay, we know what doesn't work. Let's try some stuff. So whatever we've done, let's do something different. So I start paying attention to my headlines. And then I found the golden hours. Do you know? There are specific hours on Craigslist that, well, at, they were before they took the personal section, that guaranteed you more results than any other sign, time period. Because when I got my headlines right, and when I found that window, pop, 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 responses all over the place. Oh, I really love your, I was like, oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is crazy. But I stuck with it. How many of you stick with shit when it gets hard? How many? Because I stuck with it. I stayed with it because I was like, I don't have nothing else to do. And I kept experimenting and failing, experimenting and failing, experimenting and failing. I'm telling you, disruptive mail. When I, because part of it is since all this stuff would be considered pornographic, I'm not putting it on YouTube 
and I'm not I'm not creating a Facebook group because all it takes is one person to narc and that shit will come down. So I'm going to put together a private platform and I'm going to put down the letters. I'm going to actually give you letters that have worked for me for 10 years. <laughs> I'm just amazed at this shit. So look for that. And everybody that buys something today, I'm going to give them a discount on that. Because I already have your information. So everyone that buys something, I'm going to give you a significant discount on the new platform. Because um, I, I wanted to put the stuff in Hustle Camp, Hustlers Kung Fu Life Skills .com, But there's too much already there. And I got stuff I got to fill out. So new platform, it's going to be, it's going to be awesome. I'm going to tell you. And I'm probably going to put together a group. But it won't be on Facebook. We cannot have this on Facebook. Mm -mm. Nope, 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 nope. I'm going to teach you how to talk to women. I'm going to teach you how to weed out time wasters. That right there is going to make your life so much easier right there. Because one of the things that we as men do is allow women to waste our time. And time is the most valuable resource we have. Because one of the things, and like, you know, for those of you who love the channel, go ahead and support it. Throw up a super chat. Because I know this, you know, and I was feeling some kind of way because I knew people weren't giving the shit I was giving. And they were getting super chat like, here's $40, here's $50, here's $100. I was like, wait a minute, that stuff is not as good as my stuff. But I spoiled y'all. Because I know for a fact that when someone can come to a channel, watch a few videos, and go out and make some money, that shit's gold. And then I got not some of you, because some of you support me, some of you buy the courses, I appreciate you. But I got some assholes that's like, it's too much. No, because your low expectation ass ain't going to do shit with it. That's why you want it cheap. So you can say, well, you know, it ain't that much. I ain't going to do this course. That's the real reason. Because I am, you know, there's, there's got to be a sense of urgency. Like, there's so many ways to make money online. There are so many ways to up your pockets because uh, I was telling Cater after the show, I'm addicted to this stuff. I want you to understand. I want you to know what it's like to create something, sell it online and get money. It's a way for a man to give birth. I don't know what giving birth is like, you know, for giving the baby, but I hear it's a remarkable experience. When my book was finished and I was like, I can't, re that feeling of jubilation and exalted, just so damn happy. I want that for you, but you ain't going to get it with your lazy ass. It's not going to happen. Good things don't come to lazy people. They don't. Unless your parents are rich. <laughs> I want you guys to feel that. I want you guys to have that, but... A lot of you have some misconceptions because you got people here who are copying people online because they're like, well, that's what they do to make money. When you don't know the mechanics, the strategy and all this other stuff, because that's why I put it out there, because I had people who were trying to do what I was doing. But they didn't have the foundation that I have and they didn't know what I was doing because it was like, all right, you know, should I do this? Should I do YouTube is a long game. YouTube is not quick. And quick on YouTube is a year. Quick on YouTube is six months. Because there are some people, Peter McKinnon, he blew up from nothing to a million subscribers. But I'm quite sure if I looked into it, there's a, some exceptional stuff there that he did. And it wasn't just making videos. Because, see, that's another thing. You guys got to learn how to communicate with brands and platforms and news reporters to have them talk about your stories to bring no, more people into your channel. YouTube, unless you just got some fire content, is not going to promote your video. Let me say that again. Unless you got some fire content, YouTube's not going to support your video. They have too much traffic coming in. They have too much, too many videos. They have to have a sorting system because, and this is the thing. If you want to do a YouTube channel, you can still make money. You can still do it. But you better get busy. You better start now because, see, 
there's this another group of 10, 11, 12 year olds. They want a YouTube full time job. They want to be an Instagram mom. They do not want a job. They don't want to go to college. Right now, the competition is kind of thin. People are like YouTube's dead. People, YouTube sat. No, 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 no. So you want to do a YouTube channel? This is what you do. You take your phone. You start making videos, and then you learn from the videos that you make. Then you watch all the YouTube making videos, and you turn it into a vocation, not a hobby, not something to do on the side, but a vocation. That's what you turn it into. Because you're not going to make it. Cupcake Larry, thanks for the $25 super chat. Keep up the good work, man. You're very inspiring. I appreciate that. Wabina, Wabina 7, thanks for the 399 super chat. Because here is, here's the thing. We're going through a cultural shift right now. Women are empowered. Women are not going back to the roles that they wanted, they were in. Luxury once tasted become necessities. So the white man, let me let me go, the white man had only competed against other white men a long, long time ago. Then he had to start competing with us. And he had to start competing with Mexicans. Then he had to start competing with his woman. Then he, so he's now competing against the world. And he's catching L's all over the place. I'm going to say some, and I know the whole tep's going to hate me. White privilege doesn't really exist for most white people. I know, slings and arrows, but it doesn't. Most white people are poor. And like those poor coal miners that put dumb ass in office, he removed, he reduced their benefits. He used them. That Where's the privilege in that? And I'm going to tell, and I'm saying this because if there's no white privilege for most white people, what do you think's in store for your black ass? Or your Hispanic ass? Or your Greek ass? Or your African ass? What do you think's what do you think's in store for you? This world is cold, hard, and cruel. And it's gonna be that way for a long, long time. It may never change. So you're gonna have to get your warrior mindset together and go out here and do some stuff. You're gonna be tired. You're going to be sleepy. You're going to be exhausted. But you better do it before you get too old to do it. I mean, I'm 51 years old. And the only reason I can do this stuff is I've taken care of myself. If I was the average 51-year-old, there ain't no way I could do this shit. My friends, they like, I don't know how you do that. It's like, it's called working out. <laughs> it's called taking walks. It's called lifting weights, man. You got to do that because I don't know how old you are or where you are with this, but it's going to come a day. You're going to be old if you live long, long enough. It's coming. I think now that I could probably go to 60, 61, but after that, probably not. Not at this level. So I'm burning all I can while I can because they're coming. The other people, the kids. The foreigners, uh, Instagram, the world is coming. We are an international community. You're competing against Sun Tzu in China now. Because he, no, because Sun Tzu is like, I want to get that money. I want to get me a suitcase of money and go to America and buy land. You're going to be competing against him. And he is living in a village. He's living in the middle of a rice paddy. He's like hungry as a motherfucker. Are you hungry? Because I'm telling y'all, stop copying these people because there's a group of people who are really making money, but if you don't understand what they did and why they did it, you're going to lose. And then there's a group of people who are fake as fuck. You can, they ain't even doing the shit they're telling you to do. You can see me when I say, oh, look, I'm doing Instagram. Look, I can show you I'm doing it. Create a new YouTube channel from scratch. Look, this is how I'm doing it. You can see me doing the things I tell you to do. That's why I've been able to make it for so long. I'll be on YouTube nine years in August. You think I could have made it this long just faking shit? Lying to people? 
And I've taken a lot of heavy arrows because I've had differences of opinions with people. And later on, like Amazon, everyone's like, well, you know, why start your own website when Amazon has all this traffic? That's crazy, right? Now, all of a sudden, people are getting their Amazon's accounts deleted and then they don't have any other source of income. And this is another thing that happens with Amazon. Once you become an Amazon person, it is very hard for you to do something else in life because you are addicted to that Amazon money. That is my biggest gripe with Amazon and eBay. Once you get in that system and you don't know how to do anything else, it's going to be so hard to change. And what they're going to do is pull that rug from under your ass when you need it the most. They did it to me. We were 68% of our profits were coming from eBay. And it was like, yeah. You know, I forget all my lessons and training. Like, you shouldn't let one, one client be most of your income. One platform was almost 70% of our income. And when they went, choop, my ass was so tight. I ain't sleep for two weeks. Had this rent on this warehouse. Had my partner. Had my mortgage. She had her mortgage. That was some scary shit. I went through it and I talked about it and I had a lot of people talk shit about me because it's like, well, Glenn is dumb. He, he ain't doing this, all this free traffic and stuff. Now I see videos like, oh shit. Amazon is systematically picking off their best sellers and replacing them with their own products. People still want to be Amazon millionaires. Amazon's pimp game is so strong that they can fuck you in the middle of the street and you still trying to suck that dick. Well, it's just business. When I was selling furniture and stuff, I wouldn't buy from wholesalers that had websites. They were competing against me. Why am I going to give my enemy money? But Amazon, hey. And Amazon's having some problems. A lot of things with their shipping's going on from the beginning. So... I want you guys to take heart and I want you guys to dig deep, dig deeper than you ever dug before, because I see a lot of people, you know, and I, you know, I don't blame you because every time you watch one of my videos and the ad runs around, runs across, there's going to be some hustler porn on there. Hi, my name is John. Seven months ago, I was broke. Now today I have my wife, big booty Betty and a Ferrari. People want that. People need that. They need that in their life. They want that stuff in their life because it is hard in these United States of America. So I don't blame you for being seduced. But when I show you and tell you evidence to the contrary, and you want to fight with me. At that point, you become stupid. At that point, because this is the thing, and I had to learn this lesson the hard way. There's some people whose opinions are way better than mine. And that was a humbling lesson because it made me do my research better. It made me work harder because I got I was made to look like a fool because someone had an opinion and I challenged them and they proved me wrong. And I was like, you know what? I was wrong. You were right. A lot of people can't do that shit. And that's that right there can make you stronger if you can admit when you were wrong. But a lot of people can't do that. Like the, the fuckers when Bitcoin crashed and I go ahead and that's because I'm I'm going to rub my nuts all over their face. They ain't going to say you were right. They just going to fight with me and come up with some, well, it was this and this and this. They ain't going to say like, fuck, I was wrong. When you can say, fuck, I was wrong. When you can give someone a sincere, a sincere apology, you can change people's lives. You can move mountains. Because you've got so much that's going on right now. And a lot of people are fat and happy. And they're going to be slim and nappy when this thing happens. Especially you millennials. Now, I'm not going to bash all of you because some of you are good eggs. Some of you work hard. Some of you got two, three businesses. Some of you know what a work ethic is. I'm going to give you that. But some of you, oh my goodness, oh my gracious. People my age don't want to hire you. They will hire you if they absolutely have to. They don't want to hire you. Think about that. A whole group of kids that a lot of folks don't want to hire. And when this recession comes and they can get rid of your ass, they're going to be like, bye. Bye, bitch. See you later. Never liked your ass anyway. Whoo. Glad this recession happened so I can get rid of him or her. They were getting on my fucking nerves. 
So because a lot of you are brilliant, a lot of you are smart, but a lot of you ain't accomplished shit, but you think you have. So in this recession, because I'm waiting, this channel, this business was started in recession. I'm good, but I want to see what you can do. Because it's one thing to argue with me, uh, son of whatever his that, because uh, I, I banned his ass because he was talking, you know, flippant shit. And I asked him a question, very sensible question. I said, what's your business? How much money do you make? Nothing. Crickets. Because this motherfucker don't have a business. And he's still watching. And this is something else, too. And I talked about this before. People unsubscribe to this channel, then they go back and resubscribe again. It's like, gone, back, gone, back, gone, back. They hate me, but they can't stop listening to me because I give you the motherfucking truth. Even if you, you know, I'll, I'll take your hits and arrows, but. All right, so let, let's really get into. Um, <laughs> I'm getting all this off my chest. For anyone that wants a 50% off of a course, that's it. Yes, it's porn, like, you know, real porn. And they're only doing the live stream. The links are below the case. All right. So what are some of the business models that you can get into? Affiliate marketing. Uh, go back to Mar and watch Kater's video. He, he gives you a lot of great stuff to get started because this is the thing. You're not going to be at this level at the beginning. You're going to have to start at 20, 30 bucks a day and scale up. And that's going to take you about a year or two or three. Everybody wants to get to $50,000, $100,000 in money with very little experience. And it can be done. But see, this is the thing that really is going to fuck you. You get there, but when shit starts going sideways, you don't know how to stay there because you don't have any experience. Like all these Bitcoin uh, millionaires, like this one guy, man, he put his 401k money in Bitcoin. $450,000. He bought at 18000 This is the foolishness that happens when people are uneducated. It is hard to make big money. It's fucking hard to make a million dollars a year. That shit is ridiculously hard. It takes time. It takes experience. And a lot of you could get there. A lot of you have the intellectual capacity to get there, to create products and services and get there. But it's, instead of getting there in like, you know, three months or a year, it's probably going to take you three years to seven years to get there. But you will get there if you get started and you get fucking real about your abilities. A lot of you are trading the future now for shiny shit to post on Instagram. It ain't going to work. Because, once again, the future is for the people who prepare the day. They will own the future. This doesn't change. Like, I already see what disruptive mail is going. I, I honestly think that disruptive mail will have more subscribers this time next year than this channel. I took a chance. I experimented. Remember, I was going to do Digital Citizen as a cryptocurrency channel. And I came on here and I told you, I was like, you know what? My heart's not in it. I don't think this is long term. I'm not going to do it. I came on here and said, look, I was going to do something. But like, look, this is why I'm not going to do it. Now, crypto channels, you know, folks used to load up every day, upload every. Some of those people had loaded up in three weeks. So that was a good decision based upon understanding the market and understand it's like okay this bitcoin thing i i don't know how this is gonna go i really don't know how this is gonna go and people have lost their minds and then once again i understand you know i grew up in the house with no running water and since i was a little kid i didn't understand we were poor i didn't understand that when i left and went through the back door and went through the garden to the outhouse I didn't understand that was poor. I was just, I thought everyone did that. I didn't understand we were poor until I went to first grade. And I noticed that people, people had bathrooms in the house. I was like, what's this? This is interesting. People had, you know, people didn't put a tub on a coal, coal or wood burning stove to heat up water so they could take a bath. They, they had bathtubs and toilets. 
at a very early age, I was like, oh shit, we are poor. Except I didn't even cuss. I didn't even cuss in my head. I was that much of a pussy. I was like, oh no, can't cuss in my mind. And I remember one time I called someone a motherfucker when I was like eight. And I was so shamed. And I was I went around the house and I hid and I was like, someone's gonna come get me. Someone's gonna come get me. I used a bad word. Oh my god. My- <laughs> I was a weird kid, man. For some of you who have had it really hard, had life hand you some some bullshit. You got an inner resolve and strength that can make you a millionaire if you will channel your energies in the proper direction versus trying to cheat the world and cheat the system. A lot of you could be millionaires if you would do the work. And some of you, I'm talking about you 40-year-old, you truck drivers, because a lot of truck drivers come here and like, what can I do? And I'm honest with you. You know, that's, I don't sell them a dream like, get this course, get this course, because I know. They're driving that truck. They don't have time to do the course. It's like, look, really ain't nothing you can get here unless you're willing to come off the road and get a local route, which means less money. I tell them the truth. I don't want these brothers and people buying my shit and can't don't have time to do it. I'm telling the truth. And it doesn't cost me money because when they come out that truck, at some later date, they was like, he told me, to, he's like, whoa, I asked him should I, what course I should buy. And he told me not to buy a course. Oh, this, this dude's different. He just trying to get my money. Because I want you to build your businesses that way. Because no one can hide shit. You fuck over a lot of people, it will be known. If you're a YouTuber and you acting like you rich, someone's going to find out. Someone's going to find out and they're going to expose your ass. It's called doxing. Uh, Erica was talking about somebody who was supposed to be making money, but they were living with their mama. Notice no one's doxed me. But then again, I show you, you know, y'all see my house, the inside. You won't see the outside because I don't want y'all to know where I live. Seriously, you've seen the cars. You've seen the lifestyle. There's some here. It's undeniable. And it's been here for a long time. But some people don't want to believe that I am smarter than they are. Because, see, I can say that because I know there are people who are smarter than me. And when I come across someone smarter than me, I fucking listen. I don't fight with them. I was like, this motherfucker has a $5 million house. This motherfucker has a $20 million business. I'm going to listen to him. I'm not going to fight with him. I'm not going to go back and forth with him. I am going to listen to him. A lot of people want to fight with me. Because we all black. Some of you are black because some of you are white. Some of you are Asian. Some of you are Jewish. But because we all black and I look like you. And you don't think you shit. So therefore, I can't be shit. So what I'm doing is so easy. You just copy me and you should get similar results. Psych. <laughs> it don't work that way. Because that's something I've been struggling with. And once again, uh, I appreciate all the people who support me. Because there's a lot of you. I know who a lot of you are. You're here for almost every stream. So I really appreciate that. And there are some who come in to try to prove their uh, hypothesis that I am full of shit. Someone on Disrupted Mail is like, hey, I ain't messing around with any dating coaches. I say, like, I'm not a fucking dating coach. I'm a get your motherfucking life together coach. Mentor. And then I showed him some with some receipts. He had nothing to say. I'm going to be hard. I'm going to be like, like I said, I'm going to be that drill sergeant. I'm going to be your cranky grandfather. I'm going to be James fucking Evans on y'all asses. Because you need it. You need it. Because I want you to be successful. I care enough to be an asshole to you. And that's what it's going to be. All right. So if anyone has any questions, just go ahead. I'll be here for a while. Uh, The code word today is porn. And you just go below the video. Courses are there and you get any course for 50% off. All right. So let's see. How long have I been talking? Oh, damn, that was a good rant. That was a good rant. What's up, Stefan, Kendall Vision, Zola, Derek Brown, 
Jay Fleming, thank you for being a mod. Eric and Nicole. <laughs> yeah, hit that like button and throw some super chats. If you ain't, if you want to buy a course, you feel you're good. Throw a super chat in there. Throw 25, 50, 100 bucks in there. Oh, Erica Williams, the cranky hustler's back. DJ Slink, must have your capital creature on the economy. That is 100% false. You can work your... This channel was started with $289. Oh, Derek Brown, yes, they did. Eric Williams already blocked by three, pe three people for not seeing them on the Bitcoin train. Ganja, appreciate the interview. Cool. Eric, he did. He dropped a lot of stuff. I mean, a lot of people missed out on that. Uh, key, I'd rather buy silver than Bitcoin. Yeah, silver's tangible. You know where it is. Miss Finance, yes, it was a great interview. Douglas Jones, dicking off. <laughs> Ever Hill, what's up? Thank you, Zola. What's up, Ganja? Young Brandon. C. Hanum Current, still here. <laughs> Mood Motivation, what's up? Baruch, what's up? Oh, yeah, um, you'll see more of this. Randall Riley, still here. Transform through habits, cool. Eric Dorsey, start flipping cars by listening to you. Stay, take action every day. Got to buy your products now. Awesome. Putting out that saucer and milk, and here come the straight cats. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much man a world star was horrible in my opinion uh, my goal is to create a legacy for my line of family i sacrificed my life to create a better future in my family and future generations get busy man pretty much 89 dr funk uh what's up rob nelson andrew wells the app upload uh let's see do 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 do, do. Dio Liberman. goodbye uh what's up Stefano what's up Cashmatic no the Liberman's gone the Liberman was a troll trust me so key cash from clutter I can feel you on the change of diet thing I eat less often and drink more water and I get at least an extra three hours of energy a day. It does make a difference. What's up, Stefano? Zola. Andrew Wells, I've done that more than once. Sometimes we get greedy. DJ Slink, I sold Microsoft Surface pins for 85 bucks and Walmart was selling them for 25. Yeah, online arbitrage is serious. Eric Dorsey, everything will be impacted by the recession. Everything. <laughs> what do you mean pull the plug? It's still going. Ganja, I published an app and the shit isn't working. Well, I was about to give up, but I said, fuck that. We're going to figure it out. That's what it takes because you build that inner resolve, man, to keep going. Yeah, you can't, and Steven, it won't. I already know what happened. I already got some females who are already attacking the channel. See, I knew D. Liverman was a troll because um, that's a fake profile picture. You locked out of your PayPal? Let's see. For those of you who want to do PayPal, uh, oh. Here we go. It's actually still in here. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's see. All right. I'll just put the PayPal link in the chat and I'm going to put it under the video when I'm done. Drone T drone P T V when you get that that means you're the best. What's up, Johnny Walden? Yeah, man, the trenches are where you become the real you. Because either you're gonna do it or you're gonna fade. Uh 
89 Dr. Funk, they've done studies that people don't value free, great content. True. The Liverman was just going off, huh? Peter had 10 years of experience before. Uh, let's see. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Good Lord. The Liverman was going off. All right. Uh, let's see. Because this thing just jumped on me. I'm going back to where I was. Hold on. Y'all got a lot of stuff up in here. Uh, let's <laughs> hold on. Uh, I just, uh, good Lord. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is the first time that it is jumped like this. Good Lord. Okay. Kylie, your knee, your your fire thumbnails and content. Yeah, people are loving those thumbnails. I'm glad to do it, seven. Pretty much. Yeah, Erica Williams. And you know, I say that and I'm gonna get a lot of, you know, blowback on that, but when people realize that we're all in the same boat together, you're going to get people who are going to stop, like, fighting each other. Kyle Lee, tell that to the bro the people up in uh, the in uh, Virginia with no teeth in their mouth. Caucasian capitalists, where is my privilege? I need it, oh, Lord. Uh, Rakasaka, um... Everything starts with economics. Slavery started with economics. When you get your economics together, you get your privilege together. Uh, Panther Leeds, just look that up. That's all over the internet. Uh, Ken, we're glad we agree. You don't have to be a West Virginia coal miner or struggling farmer to be broke, busting your ass for all you, you barely have white guy. Yeah, you, you got to for, for a little bit. I agree again. People often underestimate the power of the subconscious mind. Apple Mac, that's true. Most whites are poor, but live by the, the saying, at least I'm better yeah, that, that's kind of going away. Right now, people are struggling. 89 Dr. Funk, the thing that's wild is the majority of people are waiting for people on the outside to change their circumstances, not knowing that they have it within them to change their paradigms. True. Uh. Conscious see for that's funny. <laughs> it's like having breaks while you're trying to avoid an ice patch. Andrew Wells, I make my money offline, the fraction I make online. Yeah, there's still a lot of money to be made offline, but people don't want to hear that. Eighty-nine, Doctor Funk. I'm so glad I stopped selling on FBI. I've seen people cry because AZ whacked them at their knees. I've seen Amazon put people out of business. Big people. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, Raquel, you know I agree 100. percent I'm trying to make my escape right now.
Apple Mac, what do you do to promote your personal site or blog when selling on other people platforms like eBay, Poshmark, the way they game? Well, there's a lot of things you can do. Uh, your customer service package, you could put like, hey, if you need help, this is our website. You got to be sneaky about it because you can't do the overt stuff like I used to do, like was just put my website like right in the right in the pictures. Dre East Coast. Gary Villain just literally said something similar. Too many CEOs hate a title but make but made nothing. Hmm. 22 to 37 millennia are, are millennials. 22 to 27 are the worst. <laughs> Woo. Oh, it was her again? Uh, Gary V says he can't wait for the recession. It's all fake businesses going away. I mean, they will because you're going to have to actually get some results because the cash is just going to go away. Speaking of cash, anyone that wants to hit that super chat, go right ahead. Uh, oh, man, that there was a bunch of them. AKWB, speaking of being prepared, I read an article about sex workers and how Craigslist getting shut down affected their business a lot and their damn near home. Really? Okay, when they putting hookers out of business, you know shit about to get bad. I'm about to Google that. <laughs> I am serious, sex workers losing money because Craigslist. I got to read that. All right, so I'll read it later. Let's get back to the stream. Wow. I mean, seriously, and a lot of people are lazy. D.L. Liberman was going hard. Well, you know what, um, Apple Mac, Craigslist was much bigger than you th you 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 could know because Craigslist allowed a lot of people to be sex workers and not have these their because every girl doesn't want to post her pictures all over these sites. Andrew Wells, you must look at facts because they look at you. I like that. Yeah, because see, the thing is, uh, the new law, if the site is promoting, allows people to do sex trafficking, they shut a lot of sites down. So I wouldn't be surprised if Backpage gets hit too. Tasha, what's up? Afri, I love you. I love you too. Appreciate it. Thank you, Rob Nelson, for the $5 super chat. Okay, uh, K Diesel. Actually, a local truck drivers can make guaranteed eighteen hundred weekly at home every night. Weekends off, average eighty k plus a year. Hey, because I mean, you know, you on that you on that haul. It's gonna be hard for you to do courses and stuff unless you're exceptionally motivated. Like one person who was a driver, he was extremely motivated. Thank you, Rob Nelson. Back page is gone. Charles, the too many eggs in FB basket. Drop me for no reason. Wow. I did not know Backpage went. Uh-huh. Wow. Yeah, William, we, we, we're going crazy up in here. Klein in. Thanks for the $70 Canadian, I believe, supporting the cause. Appreciate you. Gunge, I'm starting to notice some females like to argue with men for some real reason, but deep down they know the answer. Right. <laughs> oh, man. Back page has been seized. Like, I just thought it was Craigslist. I did not know. Yeah, 
you you Shala J. I'm at work at the Air Force, and this is the first time I made it on the live vid. I need to know when you start investing yourself from your info. Right now, man, watch some videos. You don't even have to buy anything. You just have to start watching videos. Uh, once again, uh, you there will be people spending money on any and everything. It will just be less of those people. So you can still make money, but it's just got to be you, your sales game is going to have to be on point. Uh, Man Can Enterprises, thank you for the ten dollars super chat. Amazing, Glendon. Only four eleven. Give the four one one and wait to get ready. Time to kill the end of zombie. What's coming? Think about a way for your students to join forces to work on projects in the course. Okay. All right. So we got all of the. We got most of the super chat. Uh, I mean, we got most of the chat. But one of the things that you have to understand in this new economy, in this new world is you got to get busy. The law of action kicks the law of attraction in the ass. And a lot of people don't want to believe that because, you know, law of attraction, you just get something for nothing. And you got to, you know, and it's in the 48 laws of power. There's no free lunch. Once you get it in your head that you actually have to work for your results, it gets easier to do because you know nothing's coming. Uh, need to spot the next thing on the ground floor. Anyone who opened a vape shop is making bank. I see those things all over the place. So I would say pro probably. All right. Anyone that wants to buy a course, this is the link. This is, well, this is promo code. Promo code porn because I'm getting ready to uh, shut this down. You have to buy during the stream. All right, so any more questions? Uh, Smith, I have 2,000 trying to figure out a business or something safe to put in because I'm a scared little bitch. This is what you do. You take your 2,000, you put it in the bank, and you either get a job with someone, with whatever you want to do to learn that business, or you start a business with for like 100 bucks, 200 bucks, and you just learn on the way up. Do not invest your whole $2,000 in the business when you have no experience. Drill East Coast, yes, action does create momentum, directs all energy towards wherever the focus plus the action is. <laughs> Y'all are getting cranky in the chat. All right, so... Um, because I'm going to shut this down. Thank you, Raymond Cherry. Thanks for the continued streams, hustling to start my online Linux testing initiative. Go on, brother. Bianca Cole, thanks for your honesty. You give great information. Appreciate you. Uh, baby Sleep Help. Wow, I've never seen that name before. The unclaimed money business is hard and inconsistent. I wouldn't do it unless I was deeply experienced. Back page is down too. I'm gonna have to do some research. I did not know that. I thought they just hit Craigslist. All right, so go ahead and grab your courses. I know that um, this stream goes on for about what thirty, about twenty minutes after I shut it down. So I will let it go or thirty seconds. Steve Wilson, I'm a driver that started an online store. Okay, cool. Um, Maybe you could talk about it next time. Thank you, Andrew Wells. All right, go ahead. Use porn to get your courses. Uh, I'm going to leave the stream running. Well, I'm going to leave that active for like about 10, 20 minutes. I forget whatever it is. The stream goes on after I'm done. <laughs> All right. Y'all are going in the stream. You got like like 20 minutes to get your courses. So I want to say thanks for coming out, <laughs> listening to the rant. And uh, I will see you guys. Today is Wednesday. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Be good. Subscribe, comment, like, and smash that like button. And I'll, I'm out. Business school is in session. Learn how to make money, increase your wealth. One of the biggest problems I have is that people come to the YouTube channel, they'll see me, 
and they want to get some, but they don't know where to start. So I have solved that problem today. If you're brand new, welcome. We're glad to have you. Look forward to serving you a long, long time. If you want to get this knowledge, if you want to start a business, I have created a blueprint, a roadway for you to actually start making changes in your life. Because this is one of the things that I have learned. When I was doing 30 days to 2,500, I learned that there were some people who did better than others. And I was like, why are these people doing better than other people? What's going on with these people? And what I have discovered, and let's see. Let me go ahead and get that. What I've discovered is that people who came in with a business already they did really well with 30 days to 2500 remarkably well it was like mind-blowing for some of them then there were people who didn't do well and these were people who did not have a strong mindset or were not in business so what i've des designed is for you to go through this pathway because essentially when I get someone who's brand new to the channel and they've never had a business, there is so much work that has to be done. I mean, I know there's folks on the internet that makes owning the business, run the business look super easy and it's not. And it's one of the most complicated things that you will do in your life. But once again, People want the path of least resistance. That is not what we're going to have. So we're going to go here and we're going to go under. All right. So this is where you start. This is the uh, blueprint. First thing you're going to do is get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success. That's your free audio book. That's where you're going to start getting that mind correct. Then you're going to move to this money management, the basics of finance and wealth development. Before you get new money, you must optimize the money you already have. If you, as it was said in the part of the live stream this morning, if you don't manage a little bit of money, well, you're not going to manage a lot of money. Well, it's the same person. The only thing that changes is the money. Look at the number of athletes who go broke because they've never learned how to manage money. They never learn how to compartmentalize, how to do the five check and account blueprint. They've not done that. So this is the, the first course you need. And I keep telling everybody that. I've had a lot of people who take this course and they booked a consult because they wanted to know more. So this is the course that you need. Then after that, we're going to go to the third course, Becoming a Boss. You have to make this mental shift about being into a producer mode. So this is the third course you will take. And one of the things that I've done is I've priced this stuff so well that, you know, there, there is a few of you who are kind of sitting back, who are emailing me like, hey, I want to buy these courses. What's the best price you can give me? That never works. Those deals never materialize because they were required for me to sit on email and go back and forth with people all day. And it just typically doesn't work out. Uh, the courses are so economical. All right. This is what you're going to get after becoming the boss. This will be your fourth course. Uh, the Power of Six Productivity Course. This course will help you get stuff done. This is a habit that you need to develop, how to manage your time, how to get stuff done. When you start a business, there's going to be so many things to do that this course will help you learn how to get stuff done, 
how to what's a priority what's not priority this course will do it for you all right so the fifth course you will get scripted days this is a life-changing course i think it's too cheap but i want you guys to benefit it will give you the power of written manifestation it will straighten out your uh, bad habits it will put you on the path of productive success it will teach you how to you know set up a morning ritual set up an evening ritual a lot of things this will be the fifth course now these five courses in the free audio book will build a foundation when i was doing 30 days to 2500 i had some students do amazingly well and some students struggle the people who did well already had a, a business or be a superior mindset the foundational courses will give you the superior mindset let's say you're a person who wants to start a business but have no clue to where to start this next section is for you typically business success comes from practicing business skills one of the best ways to do that is by reselling you got to get your feet wet this is where you will start with the reselling courses uh this is a collection that gives you the storage auction book the pimping craigslist stuff all of this stuff to get you geared for resale how to have a great garage sale all that now once you've gotten the first five courses your next move will be 30 days to 2500 this course is for people who need to learn how to sell and how to sell and set up business it will be thought provoking this is also a good course for people with established businesses remember how i told you the people who had already businesses did extremely well so go ahead you know if you have a business owner if you go through because 30 days to 2500 is a long course it's going to take you about two months to go through it but it'll be well worth it because in these two months you're going to learn stuff it's going to open up your eyes it's going to create new shifts in how you think and how you do business all right uh the seventh course will be asking for the money how to be an uber salesperson now don't get this course unless you have something to sell just reading a book or reading a book about sales without having something to sell is a waste of time you need to actually read about it and put this stuff into practice and once again uh, for all you folks who keep asking me about the luponics book i don't know the name can't remember the name of it all i know is it had a red and black cover can't help you people keep like man it sounds dope what's the name i don't know the name man i don't know the name just had to put that out there all right and for the business owners this will be defined as people making money and paying their bills with the proceeds from the business you know if you got like a side business or something and this might be for you but this is for the business owners you should get the art of holding on how to set up your legal structure structure if you're a business owner making money you are a target and you will need to protect yourself now for the people who want to save some money i have a curated bundle with all the courses except the art of holding to get you started and get your business aspirations so this is the bundle that includes most of the courses there you go so if you are new to the channel and you're like hey where do i start that's the pathway that's the pathway to get started because from a foundational standpoint you need to establish the foundation before you get off into trying to start your business because like i said you know i i got a ton of feedback from 30 days to 2500 and if i had been thinking i would have did this like way sooner but essentially taking those lessons derived from that course you got people who are not mentally prepared to start a business it's, it doesn't mean that they can't become mentally prepared it's just a process it's going to take them a little time to you know like you got kids all kids don't learn at the same rate you got some kids who learn slower and but they can still get there and essentially this is what you will be going through with the foundational courses they will help you get your mind right 
This will help you get your mind right. The DSL Chronicles, hell yeah, they ain't going to buy people. I mean, seriously, I, I, I pretty much ignore those folks because I've been down that path before. Typically, the people who are like, I want this course, I want this course, I want this course, and who want to talk to me, uh, the number one reason that people want to talk to me is to get permission to do what they think they want to do. This is like, well, if Glendon thinks this is cool. No, you, you need to give yourself permission. You need to validate yourself. You need to um, believe in yourself. Mike Ellie, this ain't no theory. This ain't no theory, man. These courses have come from my business experience. There is no theory here. Let's see. Anthony Johnson, me and my cousin got busy today. We had a hard time starting our generator. It wouldn't start for our mobile watch, but we strung it together. Made a hundred bucks for a few hours. See, once you go through this transformation, once you get that first good sale, that first load of money, it becomes addictive. It becomes very addictive. Now, what I'm going to do for the, you know, starting next week, there's going to be a lot of new training. So I'm going to do a video probably Sunday or Monday talking about the new training and how you can get a hold of that. Now, if you have never started a business, this stuff is good for you, especially 30 days to 2,500. And the money management course, I've heard, got a lot of feedback from that. People like it. It has helped them manage their finances because here's the thing. If you go ahead and start making a lot of money with your bad money management habits right now, it's the money's just, you're not going to get the best use of the money. You, you need to learn how to hold on to money. And this is what the course teaches you. So, you know, next week we will get into um, the, the new stuff. But the new stuff will build on this. It won't be the same information. It'll be new information and more of it for business owners. I don't really have a lot of courses for business owners other than the art of holding maybe 30 days to 2500 and asking for the sale those only courses for business owners uh, a lot of this stuff is side hustle stuff uh beginning business person so once again just go ahead you know if you're brand new to the channel you just found this welcome thank you appreciate you um this is what we're going to do. Michael Gardner. So it's true. This guy I'm working for in real estate made like 15 K and spent it all. People that thirst, you know, that, that, that thirst is a big, big problem. That build up thirst of you wanting stuff. You want to live a certain lifestyle. Once again, the money management course will help you with that. Let's see where we are. Cool. Because what I'm, this is going to be a very short live stream because I'm going to take it down and I'm going to put it at the end of all the newer videos. So people who are coming into the fold, you know, the new folks, because I got a lot of new folks. I get, you know, emails and stuff like, hey, Glendon. Man, I'm really excited. I like what you're saying. But where do I start? This is where you start. Okay. So all of the information is below. You can start with your first five foundational courses. Then start going wild on the other stuff. And very soon I will have some new information that will build on these principles that will take you to the next level. So with that, I will see you guys later.